Okay, so today I'm going to be doing something different. I used to be a scrapbooker, but it's not really scrapbooking. I'm not sure how you want to define that, but I took, instead of just making a photo album, you know, just putting pictures in there, I would make um, the beautiful pages behind. And um, this is my daughter's book. She actually has two um, from start from me being pregnant with her um, all the way through to her growing up, baptism. Like I said, this is just her first one. You know, us moms go crazy over our first child. So it's just inevitable that we're gonna end up with lots of pictures from our first child. This is my son's first book, again, with me pregnant. Um, you know, I kept, I like to keep things. I, kept all his um, cards that he got. And you know what? I was thinking maybe making them into a journal, but not today. So that's his, and his is like really full. And I found this just the other day at the secondhand store. Look at this, it was only five bucks. This is Creative Memories. It's still in the package. Like these are really expensive, or at least they were when I used to do Creative Memories. So that's just crazy that I found a second book for him. All right, and so this is this other one. This is just my daughter's second book, so gotta catch up with my son. So then I started doing um, this for my kids to show their grandchildren. Um, this is my parents, my husband's parents, um, my grandparents, um, great grandparents on my side, um, oh, uh oh, how can that happen? Okay. This is my husband's side of the family. Um, I have way more pictures of my side of the family than I do of my husband's family, but, um, that's just because I have access to my family more than I do his family. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. So anyway, I don't have no idea if this is showing up on the video because I'm trying a new setup. But anyway, so then I started, um, I don't know, I just came across junk journaling and I really liked it. And I just started really small. Um, me and my friend, this is hers. She still needs to come back and finish it. And she, we just started adding papers. You know, it's a, three signatures. Um, we still gotta put them in there. Um, but she hasn't been back. So she needs to get back here and finish that. And most of mine that I've already made, I've already given them away. Um, I give them as birthday presents. Um, the other day my son's band played at a local bar and there was a couple gals and um, they really liked him. I was like, here, have him. So yeah, um, here's another one that I'm trying to work on. Um, just trying different things just by gluing. Um, I kind of sewed it before I glued it on. So I'm working on that one. Um, this is one that I really like how I did the hardcover and um, and it's kind of themed. I found a um, book of my grandmother's that I really loved. She used to minister to the, um, the Dakotas, in the Dakotas minister. And so it was a really simple book. Um, and so I was like, oh, I'm gonna do something with that. So I just started making paper, um, uh, coffee dyed, I made some um, avocado dyed paper, and I just went to town. And I just, by watching other YouTube channels, I just kind of made that. So I have that one. So my other one that I'm probably going to keep forever because it this was my second one hardcover that I made. The first hardcover um, that I made, 
Um, I'm not sure where it's at. Oh, it's right here behind me. Okay, sorry about that. And so I have this one. Um, and I really like the way this one came out. I had um, different fabrics and I just went ahead and put that together on a hard cover. And let me tell you where I got these hard covers from. Old, um, calendar books and I just use that paper. Um, so this is my first one, which I totally love. Let me see if I might make sure. I made a little pocket here um, and I just started making stuff. This is actually wrapping paper. This is from a book. I love this. I just love all this different texture. Um, and I just went to town on this one and I'm gonna keep it. You know, everybody talks about ephemera, which is kind of like old stuff. Um, this is actually really old, um, a planner. And it's not that old, I should say. You know, I'm talking about um, 50s, 60s. So I, I know that sounds really bad saying <laughs> that's really old. But this was in our family. So I'm using it. And um, music paper, I've started... Uh, experimenting with different types of um, paints and um, inks. I was just doing whatever. I like the way that came out. Um, making little pockets everywhere. Um, making tags. Making This is actually a watercolor that I did. Um, practicing my watercolor. Um, so I did that. Um, I found these old magazines at the thrift store and I bought a whole bunch. It's um, it's a music magazine and it is from the 1950s. And um, this is actually a, um, just bits and pieces thrown together. I just was making tags and went crazy. Um, I really like how I did the, um, uh, fringe on here and I actually made a mistake on this maybe that's why I'm never going to give this book away um, but I put this upside down so be careful how you're putting this in because <laughs> that was should have been something I saw um, this is a writing board that I made um, this is just cheap stuff from the Dollar Tree that I got a long time ago um, I really like this piece I don't even know where I got that Every, most everything I buy is from the thrift store or on sale. More of my watercolors. Um, this was from when I used to do scrapbooking. I had this still left over. Um, I made this. I just added some charms from my daughter's old jewelry. Um, you know, just adding stuff. Carpe diem that I found from a book. Or, um, I don't even remember. Maybe it's from a calendar. And just experimenting. Just like, see how I put it upside down? <laughs> but that's all right. Um, I made a bookmark with the, I just put this little thing back here, and you can use these, you know, to mark your spot in your book. Um, this was from a card, and um, I really liked it because I love glittery stuff. Um, these are stickers that came from a book. My daughter works at a bookstore, so it's wonderful. She gets me all kinds of wonderful um, books all the time. And then just a pocket in the back. And I just put two buttons through this buttonhole thing and um, made it. So that's that one. So I really wanted to get started um, making a uh, another type of scrapbook that I'm gonna name somebody because um, I got it from her channel and she's awesome. And she's one of the main person that I watch all the time. And um, 
Okay, I think her first name is Pam, but it's a paper outpost and she is just wonderful. So this is where I got the next idea was from her and that's by taking a file folder and I cut it down to nine inches and then um, you use this and then once you get your papers all together, um, I'm gonna sew this in and it's okay if it's a little bit um, over because I'm gonna make this into a pocket and then this will be the flap over. So I actually have one right here and I just have some sari silk um, in here and I made this one. And this is a paper pack that I got a while back ago because I really liked it because I was gonna use it for the scrapbook that I'm making with all the grandparents. Um, so that's this one. And I just sewed in, I only have two signatures and I sewed those in and um, that's how I made it. So stay tuned for tomorrow. I'm gonna show you how to make this quick and easy uh, journal. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Hope you guys can make it tomorrow. Ta-ta for now.